All right, guys, good afternoon. It's a Monday, um, Monday Night Raw tonight, and uh, the focus of this video um, is on two things. Uh, first off, Jeff Jarrett has announced the new name for his new promotion coming out in January of 2015. It's called Global Force Wrestling, and Jeff Jarrett uh, is really, really enthused about this uh, promotion that's going to be coming out. Him and his wife, Karen Jarrett, um, have really been, you know, working hard to uh, get the platform and everything well set, uh, already getting TV contracts in the works. Um, they're already looking for talent. And again, being global force wrestling, you can expect probably talent all around the world. And Jeff Jarrett is basing this wrestling promotion. He wants to base it like it, you know, like wrestling was in the mid '80s and whatnot. And um, I'm very, very pleased uh, with this announcement I heard today. Um, I think Jeff Jarrett is going to make a big go of this promotion. As we all know, he was the founder of TNA until he lost uh, uh, basic control of TNA to Dixie Carter and finally decided to sell his shares and leave because those two could not, um, you know, really work well together. And it's unfortunate that, um, you know, TNA being around 12 years and Jeff Jarrett, you know, had to leave a, a promotion that he founded. But wrestling is in Jeff Jarrett's blood, like his wife Karen said. And uh, we knew something big was going to come sooner or later. And, you know, I'm really, really happy to hear this um, today and um, look for really good things to happen with Jeff Jarrett. As we all know, Jeff Jarrett wrestled in the WWE, uh, WCW, uh, TNA. Uh, he's been champion in uh, all three promotions. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's great news to hear. Um, you know, for me, uh, because the more promotions that are around and, you know, available to watch on TV, the better, you know, it doesn't have to be a big promotion, you know, like the WWE, it's just a promotion that everybody can escape to after, you know, getting bored with watching what they're watching and Jeff Jarrett and global force wrestling, wrestling, I should say is, I think it's a great name. Um, I like his concept and, uh, uh, it's, he's just going to do wonders to the wrestling world. I, I cannot wait for it to really happen. On the other note, on my other channel, I announced very, very early this morning. I saw an article at hustlers.com that the undertaker, uh, was screwed out of his streak last night at WrestleMania by Brock Lesnar that Brock Lesnar changed the script and Vince McMahon was going to fire Lesnar. Uh, as time went on today, WWE has uh, solidified the fact that indeed the Undertaker was to lose last night at WrestleMania. Um, and in fact, that Vince McMahon left. He did not see the main event last night because the Undertaker was injured. Uh, I think it was a possible concussion. So Vince McMahon left with the Undertaker and left Stephanie and Triple H in charge to run the rest of the show, which was the main event. And, of course, they got themselves involved in that main event as well. And so, uh, you know, you know, you read these articles and, you know, you don't really know um, how credible they are. But when you're reading them at 4.30 in the morning, sometimes you don't, you know, you really don't think of those things. And... Uh, and somebody just jumped on uh, the idea of saying, okay, we, we can just make up a story. And, and you know, you read the article because I gave a link in the description box. And, it, you know, at the time it looked credible. Um, but then, you know, if you studied the rest of that website, uh, there was also an article about Tony Romo and Jason Witten of the Dallas Cowboys, how they had an intimate relationship at one point in time in the past. And then if you read some other articles, then you say you start doubting, you know, the website and whatnot. Um, but at 430 in the morning, you know, you're a little fuzzy, you know, you just woke up and and, uh, and whatnot. So, I, you know, I made a video about the, the streak uh, 
being lost than it was in planned. And of course, I gave the link in the description box. So, you know, obviously everybody got to see the article that I saw. So, I mean, you know, just, just to prove the point that the article was out there. So, and, I, you know, I got a lot of, um, you know, a lot of comments on it, uh, but they were, they were very positive comments, you know, and, and that, that's a good thing as well. So, so I wanted to bring that up. Uh, but again, uh, Global Force Wrestling, the new promotion, uh, which is going to come out in 2015 in January, you know, that's the launch date so far by Jeff and Karen Jarrett. I'm really looking forward to it. And, you know, a re any wrestling fan that is a wrestling fan should look forward to it as well because we saw the, you know, the intensity and, and the drive that Jeff Jarrett had when he first founded TNA. And I think we're going to see twice as much of that in Global Force Wrestling because Jeff Jarrett has a point to prove. And I think that point to prove is to Dixie Carter and um, I think he's going to do wonders in the world of professional wrestling as an owner. And uh, again, very ecstatic. Uh, can't wait for the promotion to come out. So this is the Iceman. Iceman's return on YouTube channel. You know, have a great Monday. Monday Night Raw tonight. We'll see what the repercussions are from last night's fallout of WrestleMania 30. We'll see what happens. Will Daniel Bryan have to defend his title again tonight? Will he get screwed over tonight? We just have to wait and see. You know, this is how the WWE rolls. So, peace out, everybody. We'll see you next time.